Um, verse 26. A yogi who has faith in me, absorbing his mind in me, and knowing that my purpose is always fulfilled, will always achieve his purpose by the very means he has determined to follow. So this is a really interesting one, right? This is the, the power to do what you've determined should be done. It's very interesting. This is actually, this is actually a yogic power you can develop. Because in yoga, we develop this strong mind. So we tell of clarity of mind, we can see what's going on, we can see the path, we can understand things, we're more in contact with reality. We know what's going on, we know who we are, we know what nature is. And so, and we determine where we want to go and we can take that path and stick to it. We have tapas. Yogis have increasing Tapas. So tapas is this ability, it's the fire, it's the determination, the energy, the grit. I translate tapas as grit in my yoga sutras. It's this power to stick to it. You can do, you can do what's, you know, what has to be done. You don't get distracted, you don't get, oh, this is easier and that's too hard and, oh, I don't know, maybe I'll do something else. No, it's just like, you know what you want and you have the power to do it. So this is something you actually will develop as you progress in, in these practices of yoga, the 3T path, you know, you have this ability to stick to things. This is like, you know, look at this Uddhava Gita course, we're already in class, what is it? 90 something, you know, and it's going to go up to like 200. You know, I'm going to stick to it. I know I'm going to do it. I'm just, you know, unless Krishna kills me or something stops, you know, but I'm going to stick with it. I'm, I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to be doing it unless Krishna stops me. I'm, because that's what I do. I've already done one in Portuguese. It was 280 classes. It took me seven years to do the course, to record the course. You know, I was just doing it. That's the way I like my channels here. You know, I've started 10 years ago in May. It's going to be 10 years. And I record a video every week, at least one. More than, you know, now I have multiple channels and I do multiple videos every week. But, you know, so it's this determination to stick to it and just keep doing it, you know, and like, I'm just gonna, like, it doesn't matter if like, oh, I'm getting a million followers, I'm not, you know, I'm feeling good, I'm not feeling good, oh, I'm inspired, oh, no, you know what, I'm a, no, it doesn't matter, I'm just gonna do it, you know, and just, mm. So this power you will definitely get with yoga. You need it, or else you wouldn't be able to practice yoga, you know, proud to do your meditation every day, your job every day, to stick to your life changes. You know, because all of us, most of us all started like eating meat and drinking alcohol and doing drugs and doing stuff. So like uh, this whole change we're doing, you know, towards a more sattvic lifestyle, this requires a lot of grit, you know. I see so many people, just yesterday I met another person like, oh yeah, I was vegetarian for so many years. And then one day we just went to the supermarket and bought sausages and meat. It's like... You know, like a yogi doesn't do it. It's like, okay, this is it. You know, I don't eat meat anymore. Boom. And I'm not going to eat meat anymore. It's like, it's not a question. It's just, this is it. Because I have this ability to fulfill my purpose. You know, I'm not going to give up. Oh, yeah, you know, what is it? no, it's pff, this strength to stick to it. Like I haven't had any alcohol since the night okay boom that's it I'm like oh yeah sometimes no it's, it isn't like oh yeah maybe a little bit oh you know what no it's just you stick with it I've been doing japa 16 rounds every day since I think 96 you know every day imagine I have children being born people getting sick you know like that like massive workloads come, you know, get, you know, do this and this and emergencies. Everybody's got, you know, it's been since 1996. So 30 years, the emergencies come up, you know, you get sick and children were born, children get sick, children go to the hospital, you go to, you know, it's like, and you stick with it and you travel and it's this and all that. And it's Christmas and it's New Year's and it's birthdays. And you stick with it. So this is a great power, um, which you will develop as well. So, but this, you know, so this is, what's Krishna's talking about this? Absorbing his mind in me and knowing that my purpose is always fulfilled, will always achieve 
his purpose by the very means he has determined to follow. Okay, purport. In this verse, the word yadha, whenever, indicates that by the mystic power called yatta sankalpa samsidi, one will achieve one's objective even if one pursues it at an inauspicious time. Lord Krishna is called satya sankalpa, or he whose desire, intention, purpose, or resolve always comes to pass. As you know, sankalpa is what you determine will happen. So satya sankalpa, always sankalpa. Satya is always. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasvati Thakur, who is a spiritual master in our tradition from the early last century, mentions that one should determine to revive one's lost relationship with the Supreme Lord Krishna through the infallible means of devotional service, which can be executed at any time or in any place. Of course, so of all the things you're going to determine to do, of course, the priority is to love Krishna, to develop your bhakti. That's the that's the main sankalpa you're going to be working on, of course. Which, you know, and you're just going to stick with it no matter what. 